Wednesday. I did add that to my Apple Watch. I was like, what day is it? Okay, so hey guys, let's go ahead. Breathe it in. You're here. So we're gonna go ahead. We got some time. We aren't gonna start till 7:30, but I am gonna take this time right here to go over a few moves with you guys. A few things that we're gonna do today. Just so if it's your first time here. You've never done Ligree before or anything like that. Um, I'm just gonna go over a few of the names associated with the movements uh, that we have going on today. So I'm gonna go over our obliques and arms today. Um, so working into that, what I'm gonna go over first for those obliques is I'm gonna go over that teaser. So teaser is gonna be with those two discs. There's you guys right here. Hello, everyone just hopping on. Again, just going over some of those moves. So teaser today. I'm gonna demo it onto your right side. Best way to get in that teaser is you set up those discs or wash cloths, whatever you got, no worries. Cross the right foot over. So the thing with teaser is whatever oblique you're working, that is the front foot. The left foot comes on the other one, you're gonna reach down, put the hands down. Find yourself, kick all the way back into a high plank. So shoulders are squared. The hips are turned, so it's almost like you're in a side plank. Then you pop it down. Now with the teaser, it's like that plank to pike action. We're gonna lift and scoop up with the right oblique. Push away, pull, lift, hold. Slowly take your right back out. Now you always have a modification if you just wanna take that single leg, working into that oblique right there. That's perfectly fine. So you're gonna have that teaser, keeping it nice and strong into that right here. So taking it all the way up, 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 squeeze. Slowly taking it right back out and away. Good, you guys. Also on those obliques for me today is we're gonna have that tailbone torso twist and scrambled eggs. So I'm gonna use that light resistance band for these here. Taking it onto this here. So we're gonna work the tailbone torso twist. I'm gonna keep it onto my right leg from working that right side. I'm gonna show you why. So whatever side we're working for the tailbone torso twist, you're also gonna go ahead and keep it on that leg and on that hand. So that as you twist, we turn over. We're pulling against the tension. Arms are in front of it. Squeeze, hold, slowly come right back in. Stop the hands in front of you. So it's still working the right oblique, finding that there. You can always, always drop the feet. Still take that tailbone torso twist with the feet lowered as well. Last but not least is you're gonna have that scrambled eggs. So watch this transition here. So right from that torso twist, I want you to see right for that scrambled edge. You don't even let it off. Take yourself down, put the hand down. We're gonna kick the foot out. So you're gonna kick the foot out and we're gonna give it that scramble leg pull back. Slowly take that leg out and away. So the goal here is quick, smooth transitions. Take it all the way back, out, hold. Scramble legs, your goal here is to not fall one side or the other. You keep that tabletop. So whenever I get into scramble legs, I always tell everyone first, hit a tabletop. Kick the foot back and then start to move because it doesn't take a lot of movement working into that there. Now, if you guys have filmed it all, I shared this with my class last night. If these are starting to ball up on you at all, really cool trick. Throw some dry shampoo or put some baby powder on them. Like wash them first and then throw some dry shampoo or baby shop powder and it actually helps them not to stick and roll up onto you there. Um, so that's that oblique series with those there. Um, the other one I wanted to go over with you guys was some of the arms that we're doing. So again, those obliques, I went over the scrambled eggs, which is this one here. I went over the tailbone torso twist, which is you sitting back, giving it that torso twist. And I went over the teaser, which is the foot crossed in front, pulling up, squeezing into the side. So just getting some name recognition with those. For the arms today, you can use a medium resistance band or that light one still. So, I'm gonna use that medium resistance band. Taking it into this, we're gonna go chest opener. So your hands actually come back behind you. You're gonna push back open, like you're kicking back into that big V. So kick back open, 
slowly pull the hands just right back by the side of the body. So that's again that chest opener where I want you to roll the shoulders out of the ears, tuck the abs in, chest opener open. It's everything opening across that posture. So all of our arms that we're doing today, a lot of them, that series is posture working muscles. Other one we're gonna have here is we're gonna take that lat pull down, but we're gonna take it straight up. We're gonna take it all the way back so it's still that lat pull down, but I want us to just really, really focus on opening through the shoulders, opening through the chest, getting that strength along the neckline, hold, slowly take it up, and we're gonna stop at the 90 degrees. So we're not gonna go too tall. You're gonna stop and then pull it back and down, working behind you there. So again, you had that chest opener, and then we had that vertical lap pull down. Working on to that there. Last but not least for those arms, we've run it a few times, but you're gonna have that newspaper. Pulling in again, working into the front of that chest. Squeezing into the back. Yes, it's strengthening through the back, but we're opening through the rotator cuff. So a lot of that arm sequence here, I kind of built it and put it really, really to open up, feel the posture, give us that strength that helps pull the shoulders back in and down. So those are some of those sequences there that you'll be seeing in class today. Is everyone starts popping on right here for 7.30. I'm just gonna go over some of that equipment. If you wanna grab it, put it next to you. So I got a light resistance band. You can always, always modify, use some sort of a tube, different variation with that, if that works for you. And if you don't have it at all, when we're doing those, any type of different little work for me right here, you can always put a weight for it. That's a good option. So I'm also going to use those ankle weights today because we're going to, I'm going to demo one move for all this as we work into this here. Your ankle weights, guys, I love catfish so much and I think I found a way to target it and do it. We're just going to do it. It's an upside down catfish on the back, but using those ankle weights or you can also, um, you know, either if you want to squeeze a weight in between or if you wanna just add some tension in between it here. It should be pretty difficult enough just with the body weight enough. So again, what I have here is I got that um, heavier resistance band. I use the fabric one onto my legs just so it doesn't slide with it. If you don't have a fabric one, not a big deal. You're just gonna use a medium or heavy resistance band. Got the lighter resistance band that I'm gonna use for the obliques and arms today. And then ankle weights. Um, and then last but not least, two things. You got those sliders or you got those hand towels, either one work. No difference there. They both slide, move, or paper plates onto that carpet. Then we got hand weights here. Totally fine if you don't have the hand weights. If you don't have hand weights but you have ankle weights or vice versa onto it here, I want you to think about it. You can use those ankle weights as your hand weights today. Um, but we are going to be doing a floor lunge where I want to add a little bit of additional weight over the front standing leg to mimic that added pressure of being lower than the carriage and the mega former. So with all that said, good morning, good morning, Wednesday, grab that sip of water. Oh, let's go ahead and get started. So my name is Megan. I am a Legree and row former instructor out here in Orange County. I teach at Trim Fitness, I teach at Hard Fit. We obviously can't be in our studio, so I'm here with you. We're gonna get those bodies moving. 45 minute, it's a Legree at home inspired workout. So slow, slow controlled movement, lots of breath to movement, lots of core stability. Anytime I move into a move, I just want you, want you to know we will be there probably longer than you want me to be. So just don't be discouraged if you're getting into a move and it takes a second. No worries, it's perfect. I just ask that you're moving your body and we get to do that together and that's a pretty cool thing. So, taking it up, we're gonna go ahead, uh, get those bodies ready. I'm gonna move this out for me just for you so I can get that further view for you. All right guys, so I want you to set yourself up for that plank to pike right here. However, we're gonna start with just a big breath in. Take a huge breath all the way up and in. Breathe, 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 reach to the top. Woo, grab onto that left hand, take it up over, open, open, stretch your side of the body. Switch it up, take it opposite direction, switch it up, 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 pick it up, pull. Take that huge back bend, open, breathe. Lift it up, grow tall, dive it forward, wrap across the back of the legs. Squeeze the body tight, 
Get that mind right. Let's get ready to work. You're going to go ahead and walk those hands down. Feet come onto those discs. Take it all the way out into that plank to pike. I'm going to use one disc. I like the single disc use. You can use two discs under both feet or you can put both feet onto one. Either way, we're going to start to move in three. We're going to start to move. Pick it up into that pike in two. Get that timer on in one. Let's go. Pick it up for four, three, two, hold. Slowly take it right back out and away. Reach, freeze. Now, plank to pike, you don't need to lift much higher than here. As you're working into it, you have that hold, that control. Everything is scooping with the low abs, hold. Slowly take it right back out. But if you have that control, if you can lift and press, I want you to lift to that point right before those toes start to feel heavy again, then reach it right back out. Reach it nice and long, good you guys, right here. Hanging on to it. Breathe it out. Turn that music up. Check it in. Squeeze, breathe. Take it out. Give me 15 seconds. You can always modify. If this is too hard onto those there, you can always, always modify. Take this down onto the forearms. Take that same movement right here. Breathe it out. Exhale. Take it up. Inhale. Reach it long. Feel that breath start to change. Feel that control. All the way scooping. Inhale. Good, you guys. We get ready. We're going to hold that plank. Hold it in just six. Hold it in just four. Three, two. Hold it right there. Stay right there. Shoulders out of the ears. Core and tight. So good. Nice, you guys. We got this here. We're going into those carriage crunches where we're going to plant the feet. We're going to roll down, placing one vertebrae at a time, hugging the shoulders in three, two, one. So just flip over right here. Take yourself all the way up slowly. Curl, curl, scoop and roll. Placing down one vertebrae at a time. Hold, take it up, lift, squeeze. Breathe right there. Good, you guys, holding on to it here. Stay with it, it's down for four. Got to adjust. Down for three, two. Hold it there, take it up for four. Three, two, breathe right there. Good, you guys, all right. That body's starting to move. You're starting to feel that breath change. I want you to focus. It's intentional breathing from this point out. Inhale, on the way down, hover. Exhale, squeeze, squeeze. Lift it tall, breathe. Good, you guys, you got just 10. I want you to start thinking right now about those ankle weights, if you got them. If you got them, they're going on. Otherwise, you're gonna hit right here till we hit that catfish. We're gonna lay flat on our back. Feet come up, small bend over those hips. In three, two, one. All right, guys, if you got those ankle weights, quick transition right here. Strap them on, bring it out. There's one. Woo. If you're faster than me, yay. All right, take it on for two. We get ready, we're going catfish in three, two, one. Plant it down, soft bend. Now, watch this right here, you're gonna slowly let those hips just hover, keep the back flat. Take it back, back, scoop, lift the hips up an inch. Roll them down an inch, take it out for four, three, two, hold, pull back for four, three, two, lift those hips, slowly take it right back down, roll. So you're getting that little scoop. Everything right here is control through the low abs. Option to float those hands, reach them up and over. Add that challenge right here. Inhale. Again, that back is never lifting off of that floor. Exhale. Scoop it up, pull. Slowly take it right back out of the way. There you go, right here. Breathe into it, scoop. Pull the low abs in. Lift, slowly let it down. Now the trick right here is we are not doing this. You are lifting with control, you're lifting it up, up. Pull, hover, slowly. Place it down, let those feet just come up. The knees go right over the hip, hold. Hold, push it out. Take it right here, scoop it in, in, lift, take it 
take it right back down. All right, guys, 25 seconds right here. Breathe it out. Scoop, keep it low. Hold. There you go, send it out. Reach. Option to send it a little further. Stop before the back lifts off. Scoop it back and in. Four to six inches of movement. It doesn't take much. It's that control. That fight we're working with right here. Good, you guys stay right here. Breathe it out. So good. All right. We're gonna keep on those ankle weights. We're gonna get to that challenge. Creating that extra drag. Think of this, this is gonna be like your giant bear. Feet come onto those discs. Hands come back underneath you. We flip it over in four. Hold this next one out. Hold it as far as you can. Hold. Let it quiver. Shake for three. Go one more for two. Bear in one. Let's go. All right, guys. Feet come onto those discs. Hands flip over. Using those ankle weights, we add that drag. Squeeze. Pull underneath. Take it right back out. You can use that single disc, or you can use just those two. Push into it right here. Inhale. All the way out. Shoulders out of the ears. Stack the hands underneath the shoulders. Reach the crown of the head nice and long. Squeeze the inner thighs in towards each other. Go, you guys. Keep it strong. Really, really, really using those low abs to scoop. Draw those knees underneath. Hover the shins like they are parallel to the floor. Take it back. Breathe. Now, don't let those hips drop. Don't let that back get that arch in it. In fact, you pull it in like someone just punched you in the gut. Pull it in. Squeeze. Good, you guys. You got this here. 25 seconds. Come on. Squeeze. Squeeze. Breathe. Take it out. Now you guys are going to have that option to leave those ankle weights on to elevate that floor lunge even more. Stay into it right here. But either way, we're going into that floor lunge. Left foot forward today. Left foot's going to go forward. Right foot's going to go onto that disc. Grab those hand weights in the hand. Meet me face the front. In three, in two. One, bring one of those discs right here. Because you guys, option to pop off those ankle weights. Otherwise, you leave them on, but I want you to find those hand weights. Step that left foot forward. Right foot comes onto the disc. Drop it down low for this floor lunge. You're sinking down shins, and those handles are right in the line. So that all that weight, we're trying to stack it so that you're pushing straight down over that floor lunge here. Press into it. Chest up. Core tight squeeze. Take it down. Breathe it out. Right here. Here we go. Inhale down. Exhale up. So it's your left foot forward right here. Left foot forward. Right foot is nice and light. Hips are squared. Pull that right hip in with that inner thigh. Pull the shoulders back and down out of the ears. Go right back to that slow four count here. 25 seconds left of that full range. Good, you guys reach. Reach. Breathe, hold. Take it up for four, three, two. Stop right there. Take it down, reach. Breathe. Yes, you can. One more, all the way up, all the way down. We're gonna meet low. We're gonna bring those hands to prayer. You give me two inch pulses in three. Take it down in two. One, let's go. Two inches, up one. Up two, hold. Down one. Down two, pause. Let's go for 10. Guys, you guys, squeeze that left glute right here. Come on, focus in. This is where we start to send that mind to muscle connection. I want you to think about that left glute. Squeezing, creating that lift. So rather than like pushing through the floor, you're actually the glue. Watch what happens. You'll find those two inches. We go full range in three. Down first in two. One down first, down first. Don't even think about climbing up just yet. Climb up for six. Climb up for four. Three. Two. Stop there. Take it right back down. Good, you guys. I'm right here with you. Come on. Take it down. Breathe. Yes, you can. Push into it here. Do not start going less low. I don't like how I said that, but don't stop and start stopping too soon. Go all the way down right where you set the tone. Push into it here. 45 minutes. Come on. Make it count. Make it work. We got this here. Good, you guys. 
We get ready in just another eight seconds. We're gonna hold it all the way down. You're gonna pop it to that lowest point for me. We're gonna kick it back. We're gonna give those tricep extensions. Come on, take it down in six. Hold it low, let's go in three, two, hold. Little lift, squeeze. Come on, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch. Yes, you guys, send that long jump, lift. Get that back toe, heel higher. Get that core pulled away for eight. Let it work for six. Breathe it in, we're going baby skating. Find that heavy resistance band in three, two, one. All right, guys, take that heavy resistance band, put it around the feet. Woo! <laughs> take that left foot onto this here. Put it right around the quads, nice and tall. Come up onto that right foot, push it out and away. Hold. Slowly take it right back in. Breathe. There we go, right here. Push it out. Drive it out. Squeeze it back in. Breathe right here. So, as you're working into that baby skating, I want you to think, pushing through that outer glute, outer thigh, it's a soft bend. Reach it up. Hold. Take it in. Squeeze there. It's the top of the glute right here. So it's like you put your favorite pair of high-waisted jeans on. As you did right there, you're pushing all the way out. Hold. Take it back in, breathe. Good, you guys, stay with this. Check it out. Top of the glute, push down through the outside of that left heel. Lock into this here, 25 seconds, come on. Keep it working. Drive it out, good. So you should not roll into that big left toe. Everything is gonna keep shoulder, hip, knee, toe right here. Push it out, breathe. Stay onto it, slowly taking it in. Hold it out in three. Hold it out in two. One, hold it there. Hold. Push it out. One, hold. Breathe. Hold. Push it out. Two, hold. One more. Breathe. Hold. Push it out for three. Yes, you can. Let's go. Those three inches in one. Two. Three. Stop there. Take it out for one. Two. Three. Yes, here we go. Little pushes. Check into it here. So good. Ooh, let that glute fire up. Again, soft bend into those knees, little pushes. We got six. Full range in three, two, one. Full range last 20 seconds. All the way out. Take it all the way back in and push. Push. Hold. Take it back in. So dang good. You guys, you're right here. Hang on to it. Breathe it out. Ooh. Inhale. Exhale as you push it out and away. Inhale. Take it right back in. There we go, so strong. Last six. Good, you guys, we get ready. We're gonna go ahead, turn this right into that runner's lunge. In three, take this down, just over that front left shin. In two, one, let's go. So take it over the left shin, put it back. So we're behind the hamstring and we're in front of the shin. Drop into that runner's lunge, push it back, hold. Take it back and slow. Slow, again, it's that left foot forward, right foot back. Good, so we just moved from that outer glute, upper glute. Now we're deep underneath that hamstring, back of the glute, lock down that front heel. Push it out, drive, reach, hold there, core tight, chest up, slow. Pull it in, you got this here, come on. Inhale in, take it down, one more, push forward. Go back to that slow pace right where you started. As you move with that slow, slow control movement, you are asking every resistance muscle to get hit right here. Sink a little lower. Go a little slower. Get that back knee to hover over the ground. 15 seconds right here. Guys, you guys, we're gonna take those pulses into that front leg. So what that looks like is you're gonna actually drop down and up an inch into that front leg. Take it in in four, three, two, hold. Sink down an inch. Down one more. Up an inch. Up one more, come on, go down an inch. Down one more, up an inch. Up one more, 15 seconds right here, come on. Push into it, drive into it, breathe it out for four. Full range in three, two, one. Full range, push it, push it back. Slowly draw it in, in, hold. Dig through that front standing leg. Pull that core up and in. Guys, you guys, you're here. 
Can you give me 20 seconds at your lowest? That means you take it down even a little bit more sink. Lock into it here. Good, you guys, you got it. So strong. Breathing through this right here. We got just another eight. We're gonna go ahead, we find that bungee. Use that light resistance band. Three, two, one, let's go. All right guys, bungee kick. So find that kneeling tabletop. We're going on to the left leg first. So what that means is you put it around the feet. Come on down, kneel down into a tabletop. Get into a tabletop first. Kick that left foot up. Squeeze up to the ceiling. Take it down an inch, pause. Push it up, hold, take it down one, pause, right here. Take it up, squeeze. Now pull those inner thighs towards each other. Don't let that knee start to open, pull it underneath you. Get that belly button facing the ground. Take it down, push it up. Breathe, chest is open, neck is long. Squeeze, breathe, take it down one, hold. Squeeze, breathe. Take it down, one hold. Yes, you guys, 30 seconds here, lift. Challenge yourself right here. Don't let it drop. Don't let tempo come into this. As that heart rate picks up, that body, we like to try and rush through things. I want you to slow everything back down. Hang into it here. Push firm into that left hand underneath you. Get the chest long, reach the tailbone, crown and head, opposite directions. Last six. Because you guys were going hamstring curls. Three, two, hold it out. Reach it long, hold there for a second. Square the body, get set, lock in. 30 seconds, decide right now. Here, in three, two, one, curl it in, in. Squeeze, hold, take it out, out. Breathe, that heart rate does not drop because you hold, pull that core up and away from the floor. Lift that knee higher, don't let it drop. Stay here, breathe it out. If you're starting to hold your breath, your breath and core are directly connected. If you hold your breath, that core is gonna release, that form's gonna go. Slow that breath. Woo. Feel the exhale, curl in, get the inhale. Reach long, last 10 right here. So good, good, you guys are going straight leg pulses all the way back. In three, two, one, hold it there. Reach that bottom leg, little lift. Take it down an inch, lift it up an inch. Take it down an inch, so good. Now it's gonna be that easy transition, you guys. Whoo, breathe it out. We're gonna go ahead, we're going right to that teaser, so the hands are gonna stay down. Find those discs, right foot over left, you got six. Take it up, hold for four, three, two. Keep that band nearby, but you aren't gonna use it just yet right here. Cross that left foot over right. We're going to left. Cross the left foot over right. Take the hands down. So it's like you're in a left plank, and then you cross and put that hand down. Hips don't move, slowly pull it up. Teaser onto the left. Slowly take your right back out and away. Reach, hold. There you go, pull it up, in. Hang on to this right here, good you guys. All right, checking in so strong. Each one, all the way out. Pick it up, scoop with that left oblique. Take it out, reach. Now modification, you can always take that single leg, cross it over, building that strength into that left side of the body, or just hold, hold that twisted plank either way. Challenging, working into this right here. 20 seconds, come on. Bring it up. Squeeze, hold, take it out. There you go, right here. Lock into it. For eight. Woo, one more, pull it up, squeeze. Hold four. Tailbone, torso, twist, three, two, one. All right, you take that right, light resistance band. Put it around the left foot. Put your hands in. Squeezing over. Hold. So you're twisting to your right. Stopping center. You always have the option to plant the heels. Twist. Shoulders out of the ears. So we're twisting away from that left 
side. Open just to the front. Stop when you come right center. Don't go to the left. So we're using that left oblique. It's going to be that power. I want you to think about that left oblique, this back oblique, pushing the movement. Push, push. And then it's resisting. It's still pushing back against it like it doesn't want those hands to come back in front of you. Shoulders out of the ears. Pop that chest. 25 seconds. Let's go. Breathe. Can you get a little lower? Hold into it here. Challenge it out. Stay into this right here. Breathe. Twist. Take it back. Back hold. Yes, you can. Woo. For 10, we're going to hold it to the front. Hold it over in three, two. Hold it. Hold it right there. Stay right there. All right, guys. That left hand. Left hand stays into the band. Left foot stays with it here. You're going to meet me in a tabletop. We're going scrambled eggs. Hands are coming down in three, two, one. All right. Hands come down. Take the knees behind you right here. Hold into it. Kick it back. Now scrambled eggs out. Hold. Slowly pull it right back in. So same band, same hand. Left foot, kick it back. Hold it strong. Slowly, with control, let that foot come just out. Take it back and away. Reach. Breathe. Hold it out. Squeeze. Good, you guys. Use that left oblique. Keep the chest long. If you need that modification, you can always put that band underneath the opposite knee. It's going to make it a little lighter. Heavier is going to be underneath the hand. Check it out. You got 30 seconds left with that left oblique. Let that tabletop hold. Let the chest go long. I want you to think about that tabletop. We're going to be in it a few times today. We're here when we work into those bungees and those hamstring curls and then with the scrambled eggs. So think about that tabletop. How does that feel? Where are the hands pushing beneath you? Squeeze. Keep it slow. Push it back. Point that toe behind you in three, two, one. Reach the opposite hand. Reach. Reach. Get long. Pull the core in tight. Good, you guys. You're here. Last ten. Come on. We're going to go chest opener. Hands come behind the back with that band in three, two, one. All right. Here we go. Take that band. Place it right behind the back. Right here. We're going chest opener. You push. Open. Squeeze. Slowly take those hands right back in. Option to move to that medium resistance band right here. Take it up a little bit more. But either way, that chest opener is coming back. And you're going to be pushing out to that diagonal. Slowly take those hands just to the side of the body. Push it back out. Squeeze. Squeeze. Feel the shoulder blades come back and down the spine. So that as you're working into this here, you feel like you're pinching. Push. Take it right back. Keep those hands constantly pushing out. You're trying to separate. Make that band as tight as you can while you continue to strengthen through the front of the chest. Strengthen into the front of the body. Hold. Breathe right here. Good, you guys. Posture muscles working. Whew. I don't know about you, but my screen time is way up for being on that phone right here. So take this right here. Use it to combat that posture and sit up tall. You're building that strength that helps preventing that hunchback. Take it back in three, two, hold. Pulse it out, take it in. Pulse it out an inch, take it in an inch. 10 seconds right here, go out one. Woo, and one. We're going lat pull down. We're taking it up overhead. Overhead pull down in three, two, one. Let's go. Take it up. Squeeze. Squeeze. Hold. Good. You guys reach it right back up. Stop with the arms bent. Pull it back in. Pull. Reach. Now I like to involve the core here as well. So if you want that challenge, you're going to hover. Get into that core. Same movement. Same pulling it back. But your core has to lift. Your core has to pull in. Hold in this right here. You got that little shake. Oh my goodness. Woo, core tight. Squeeze in. Breathe. I want you to look just two or three feet ahead of you. Can you pull that belly button back into spine? Reach the tailbone behind you. Hang on to this right here. 
20 seconds, let's go, go slower. Where are you speeding it up? You're probably speeding it up where you could be getting the most benefit. If you took the chance to just inch through it. Last 10, good, you guys stay on to this here. We get ready, newspaper. In three, two, one, take it in front. Pull it out, open. Slowly take it right back in. There we go, good. Now I'm gonna switch to my light band here just to show you that transition coming up. Pull it out. Woo, squeeze right here. Pull it out, go squeeze, squeeze, hold. There you go. All right, pull it all the way out, shoulders out of the ears, core tight. I want you to feel the rotator cuff open through the front of the shoulder right here and then squeeze in the back of the belt. Pull it back. Engage, take it right back in. Don't let that resistance come off that band. Pull it out. Remember, you can do this with hand weights too. Take it out. Squeeze. Pull it in. 20 seconds right here. Come on, Wednesday. Check into it. So strong. So good right here. Breathing everything out. Because you guys, you got it. Pushing with it here. Last 15 seconds. Come on. Go a little bit more. I know you're starting to let it get to that shake. I want you to give into. I want you to let that shake happen. Give into it. Let it shake. Let that whole body move. Pull out. In three. Hold it all the way out. In two. One. Hold it. Hold it. Don't move. Last 10 seconds. Come on. Good, you guys. You got this here. We're going to keep that band around that right side. You're going right into that scrambled eggs on the right. In three, two, one. So watch the change. Take that band. Place it around the right foot. Keep it on the right hand. Find that tabletop. Kick it back. Right into that scrambled eggs. Let that foot come out. Hold. Pull it back. Sweep. Sweep behind you. Right here. Good. You guys remember that modification is you can take it under that bottom knee instead. Otherwise, you're on that foot in hand. Let's go. Get that right oblique to fire up right here on that right side. Hold. You can always take that out of challenge. Hover that opposite hand. It's going to slow you down. It's going to make everything pull into the center of that core. Breathe it out. Your center abdominals are holding up into that tabletop. Your arms are pushing strong away from the floor. That right toe is pointed so dang strong. Glutes are squeezing in. Neck is reaching long. We got 15 seconds right here. Squeeze it out. Breathe into it so good. You got just eight. Take it all the way back. Reach it back behind you. Three, two, reach, hold. Hold right here, outside. Breathe it in. So good, so good, so strong. We get right into that tailbone torso twist. Keep that band on that hand and foot. In three, in two, in one. All right, flip it on over. Hands come up and in. This time we're twisting to the left. So you're using your right oblique to push and turn you. Shoulders out of the way. Take those hands, twist, hold. Slowly bring it right back to center. I know you can feel your shoulders. I know you can feel that arm work happening because we just isolated, worked them strong. Go right back into that oblique right here. Breathe it out. Reach. So again, you're just coming center. From that center, you're twisting. Don't let those hips turn. Take it right back and stop there. Always have that option to plant the feet. Get that twist. Take it in wherever you need to be. But you got 20 seconds right here. You're not rounded like this though. You're tall, shoulders out of the ears, core tight. Squeeze, look up to the corner of the room. Find that gaze. Think about looking, drawing a line across the ceiling from the center. Hold it, reach, front, in three, two, hold. Hold it there, shoulders out of the ears, get a little lower. Stay into this here, last eight. Good, you guys, so strong. We find those discs. We're going teaser, right foot over left, in three, in two, in one. Dish out band right here. All right, guys, right foot comes over left for that teaser. So working into this here. Cross your right foot over left onto those discs. Bring the hands down. Take it out, squeeze, pull it up. 
lift, drag into that right oblique, take it out for four, three, two, hold right there, scoop it up, 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 lift, remember you don't put weight into those feet, those feet are trying to drag light, light across the floor, push into your left hand for me, push into it, see how it squares the shoulders, hang on to this right here, 25 seconds, come on, breathe it out, lock it in, you're right here, good you guys, we're just going to hit that right leg, one plank, and you are on the way with your Wednesday, can you fight right here, give me that push, push, take it right back out, squeeze, good you guys, you're here, you're here, lock into it, come on, last 10, Woo, here we go, find those hand lifts, we go floor lunge, keep one of those discs in three, two, one, all right, right foot forward, take that disc onto the left right here, find those hand weights, you can use those ankle weights, whatever you got, but left foot comes onto that disc, hands come over, line them up with that front shin like you're trying to almost bring it up on the side of it, take it up, squeeze, inhale down, all right, that time is on. Here we go, reach into it, exhale up. Two, three, stop there, take it down. Shoulders out of the ears. Reach long, right here, go low. Hold, pick it up, stand through, stand strong. Stop right there, reach it right back out. Find that focus point. Lock into it right here. Squeeze the inner thighs towards each other. Yes, you can. You got this right here. Come on. Give me just 10. We're going to hold it all the way down. Find those two inches. Hands come to prayer in three. Hands come to prayer in two. One. Hold them there. Squeeze it up an inch. Up two. Take it down an inch. Down two. That back foot is not moving. You're just getting those two inches by pressing, activating, digging through that right heel. Because you guys, right here. Last 12. Come on, fight for it. Get a little lower. Full range in three, two, one. Let's go, pick it up. Up, slow, take it right back down. Reach long. All right, Wednesday, come on. I know you're tired, I know you might be sore at this point right here, but you're gonna push through, you're gonna give your body credit. Let that mind focus in right here. Forget all the crap outside that mat, outside this room right here. This is your time, let's go. Check into it here. One more, all the way up, all the way down. Get those shoulders out of the air, get the core tight. Take it down, hold. Long jump in three. Two, hold it, push, push, eight, do not let it go, six, baby skating coming at you, think about that transition, in three, in two, in one, all right, drop that right here, bring that resistance band on, take it around the quads for me right here, remember right foot is that standing leg, left foot coming onto that disc, coming up into the outside pocket, we're not in that full seated position. We're up a little taller. Targeting into the upper glute. Take it in, hold. Now, this is one of those moves that if you let your left foot come in too far, you're gonna lose that resistance on that band. So I want you to think about staying in that sweet spot. Can you find those four to three inches where everything is triggered up into that glute. Breathe. Right here, you breathe. Right here, you sink into it. Push it out. Dig through the outside of that standing heel. Yes, you guys. We got three inches. In three, two, one. Take it out an inch, hold. Breathe. Take it out two, hold. Breathe. Take it out, three, hold. Breathe, in one, in two, in three, right back out. Little pushes, come on. Check into it, three inches, in one, in two, 
two, 20 seconds right here. Their little breath to movement. Let it shake, let it trigger up into that outer glute, outer thigh. Come on. Top of the booty is up, man, focus. Take it out, push it out. Reach, breathe. There you go. Stay into it right here. Last six. We go full range in three, two, full range. Come on. Take it out. Out. Reach, hold, slowly pull it in. Stop well before that foot comes within that hip. Push it right back out. Breathe. Hold. Take it in. Sit up tall. Get that core scooped in. Last 10. We're going into that runner's lunge. You got this here. Find that runner's in three, two, one. All right, guys, drop it down. Runner's lunge right here. Sink it low. Try to get that band flat with the ground. Push it out. Drive, hold. Take it in. Squeeze right here. Little pushes. Now, don't let that knee come behind or in front of that ankle. It's right on top. Push it out right here. Woo, breathe it out. Take it in, so good. Second to last leg exercise, good you guys. Come on. Push into it, breathe, abs in tight. Now with that runner's lunge, I want you to think about those low abs right here. As you bring it back in under, you're scooping, pulling them to keep those hips even. Keep everything centered. Don't let that left foot come behind your tailbone. Keep it behind the left hip. You got 15 seconds right here. We're gonna take those pulses going down in that right leg. In three, two, one. Take it down, one hold. Take it down, two, whoo. Take it up, one. Take it up, two, oh my gosh, here we go. 10 seconds, little pushes. From here, you got 30 seconds of full range. I'm right here with you, let's shake it out. In three, take it out in two, one, push. Push, drop into this so dang slow. Get that left knee low. You got just 12. Breathe it out, lock it in. Can you hold it all the way back? Hold, we find that bungee. In three, two, one, take it off. All right, find that light resistance bungee right here. Put that ankle weight on, put that little band, that ankle or that weight underneath that knee. You choose, but that right leg coming up, tabletop. Push it up, hold, take it down, pause. Lift with it, squeeze, take it down, breathe. There we go, lift, Woo. square those hips. Don't let that hip open, pull those inner thighs towards each other. Hang them to in here. Exhale, up, hold. Inhale, hold, breathe it out. Take a second here, close those eyes. Have you given yourself everything you can this morning? What is left in that tank right here that you need to give for these last three minutes that you need to put in so that when you hit that child's pose, you know you did everything you can. Right here, we get ready in six. Hold it up in three, two, hold it. Hold it all the way up, hold. We go hamstring curls in three, two, kick it out. Pull the abs in tight. I'm guilty of it too. A lot of time that back will drop. Pull it up. Flex. Squeeze it in. Look great as that ever moving carrot in front of the horse. There's always something more. I don't care how many times you've done it. I don't care how many times you practice it. That form, that pace. There's always, always room to fight and get into it a little stronger to get a little bit more out of it right here. That's the beautiful thing about this. It doesn't get easier. In fact, it only gets harder when you get those transitions, when you know what muscle is working. You isolate it into it here. Woo, 15 seconds. Let it shake. Stay into it here so strong. Chest up tall, core tight. Oh, that shake. I love it. Hang into it here. We got six. We're going to hold it all the way out in four, three, Two, hold it if you took the other side. Little lift, lower. Come on, little lift, lower. Stay into it right here. Amazing job, you guys. Both hands come down. Those feet come up. You give me that plank in three, two, one. Plank it up, hold right there. 
Shoulders out of the ears, quick transition, just get there. Here, timer's on. Shoulders out of the ears, core tight. Last 60 seconds of class. We're gonna do one of the hardest things that you do with me. Be still, just hold. Roll the shoulders out of the ears. Pull the core in tight. Push the heels behind you. Feel that breath, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, push, squeeze that belly button back to spine. Hug it in tight. You're here. Well over that halfway point. This is that point. I know your body's gonna wanna start to fidget. Don't let it. No hip dips, no nothing, just hold. Breathe. Squeeze the abs in tight. Reach long. Last 15. Hang on to it. Push through the thumb and index finger. Soft bend into the elbows. Get the arms to work. You guys got 10. Lock into it here. You bring it down in three, two, one. Melt it down. Breathe it out. Close those eyes. Take a second before you even move. How do you feel? How does that body feel? Feel that heartbeat, listen to it. That's yours. As you start to come up, start to find some movement there. We're gonna listen to those bodies stretching it out really quick. If you guys gotta run, totally understand. Appreciate you guys being here. Appreciate you guys moving here with me. Beautiful, beautiful job. I got sweaty. <laughs> Anyone else? I was sweating. <laughs> okay guys, take that right foot forward. Lunge into it, open it up. Shoulders out of the ears. Core and tight. So I'm trying to use this stretching time, so if you are here and you're with it, I'm gonna take it just a little closer, so hopefully I can read what you're saying. So if you have any questions, ask them now, shoot them away. We're taking that right foot forward. Stretch it down, take it back, give it that hamstring curl. Shoulders out of the ears, core and tight. Hey you guys. Is that an alley wokey? Oh, hey girl. <laughs> hey, you guys, so good. Oh, push it into this right here. All right, guys, come on up. Take that hand, stretch it on over, pull. Find that reach. Oh, there. <laughs> Perfect. Did we do both sides? We were doing opposite legs too. Yes, yes, so we do both sides. So every day we're gonna start on a different leg. So I'll start at the beginning of the class and then I'll say it um, multiple times for you guys right here. Switch that leg. So today we started everything left leg. The second we start doing a leg exercise or an oblique, we are going to strictly focus on that side. So the method is the point is that we're gonna take that muscle group, so that left leg, and we're gonna work it for the next four to five movements. That's gonna really, really exhaust and get into those slow twitch muscle fibers. So if you ever feel like you're switching back and forth between legs during a leg set, you might be on the wrong leg, but I'll try to always, always tell you. Tomorrow we're gonna start everything right leg first. I hope that kind of answers it. Take it back, stretch. Oh, what was the other one? What workout do you do? Put my Apple Watch on. Oh my gosh, okay. Don't even get me started on Apple Watches here. Um, <laughs> until Apple Watch comes out with a Legree one, no, no, no. Because <laughs> uh, I have a hard time. I don't put mine on a workout, I use the timer with it. Every time I do Legree on my Apple Watch and I put it on Pilates, or sometimes op opens a little bit better. Don't put it on Pilates. I promise you it's gonna jip you. It's gonna tell you you burned like 100 calories and you're like, I was dying, how is that possible? I do it too. And it's also, the hard thing with that is your heart rate. It's based off heart rate. Since what we do is a lot of controlling heart rate and controlling muscle movement, 
you shouldn't be trying to get that heart, like that heart rate's gonna lift, but that's not the goal. We're not doing jumping jacks or stuff. So when an Apple Watch is reading off of heart rate to see your calories burn, it's really not well reflected with this here. What I suggest you do is maybe look up, um, you should be burning about four to 500, like three to 500 um, calories into a LaGree class, and you continue to burn. That's the beautiful part, find that front pigeon. Drop it down. Do you have a Venmo? Okay, guys, <laughs> this is a hard one for me. Um, I do, I have it on my page. Um, I put it on there, however, I have not asked um, for donations. I did put it up there just because a lot of people had questions, but I know so many people are impacted by this here. Thank you guys. Um, and if you are suddenly finding yourself without an income, I do not want that to stop us from moving. Or let's say, take that stretch all the way over. Let's say you it's your first time to agree and you're just trying it out. I don't want an expectation of anything. However, if this is something that you feel adds value to your day and this is something where you feel in a space and you want it, I want you to feel like you're investing in yourself. If you Venmo me and you Venmo for a payment of class, I want you to invest in yourself because this is something that you find value in for you. Um, and that's where I would take it and I really appreciate it, but it's in no way, in no way expected, nor, nor will I have it be. So that kind of answers that. Oh, okay, thank you guys, class is gonna be, oh, I love you guys, you guys are so sweet. Okay, let's take that final all the way, inhale all the way in. Maybe what I'll do is I'll go live at a different point in time. I wanna keep these videos really workout focused with this here, but Wednesday, you guys are beautiful. Mwah, mwah. Any other questions? If you guys asked a question and I didn't get to it right here, please, please DM me. Um, I have been getting back to those, you guys. Honestly, you are my like focus right now. <laughs> you guys are keeping me sane. I'm used to having such a busy schedule and thank you guys for keeping me busy. Thank you for reaching out and everything and um, drink lots of water, stretch it out. 5.30 if you're coming back and kicking it here. Um, biggest thing that I can ask um, is that you just share share the workout. Uh, I would love to move as with as many people as possible. I think it's awesome um, to get to see you guys every single morning and evening. Um, but until next time, love you guys. I'll see you soon.